Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to part four of our robot. Okay, so in part one, we modeled this guy. In part two, we textured it. In part three, we made a very basic rigging system based on parenting. And in this video, we're going to do some very, very simple animation just to get acquainted with the uh, keyframing technique. Okay, so nothing fancy, absolutely for beginners. All right. Okay, so we have our controls and we'll just run through them one more time. So if we take this ground control and we hit W, we can move our entire robot. Okay, if we take this control over here and we hit E to rotate, we can move that leg. Take that one, we can move that leg. Take this little control up here, will allow us to move the arm. This one will allow us to move the other arm. And the one up here will allow us to move the head like so. All right. All right. So like I said, really, really basic. OK, so let's start with some animation. Now, um, the robot in itself is not going to move in the initial frame. What we're going to do is we're going to have our robot kind of turn his head and look, you know, to the right and to the left. OK. Now you need to keep in mind that you need to be aware of timing. So if the robot is going to look to the right and to the left and is going to do all of that in one second, it's probably going to break his neck, right? So you need to kind of calculate how much time do you want to spend on turning the right uh, in the head to the right and to the left. So let's say it takes two seconds to look to the right and then two seconds to move back to the left, okay? One second of animation is roughly 24 frames. So we would have approximately, let's say, 50 frames to look to the right, and then another 50 frames to switch back and look to the left. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our control for our head, and we're on frame one, and we're going to hit S on our keyboard to keyframe that initial position. Okay. And then we're going to move our slider to frame 50. And that's where we want to end up with our head looking to the right. Okay, so on frame 50, we're going to pull the control over to this side. And you can see that the Y value here is changing. Okay, now when you're happy with that position, you're going to right click and go to set key. All right, then we're going to move further to frame 100. And we're going to take that control again. And let's move it over that way. OK. And again, you see this value changing. So right click and set key. So now if we scrub back through our animation line and we hit play, you can see that a robot is moving its head up and down. And even still, you can still see it's fairly quick, right? Now. Um, a question that I get a lot is when you're animating the head and you have the sequence going on, can you keyframe in between for different elements? Of course you can. Okay. So let's say at the same time that he's moving his head, he's going to move his arm. Okay. So we'll take this little control up here. And again, on keyframe one, we're going to keyframe it. So we're going to hit S on our keyboard. Okay. Now, I only want the arm to move forward on frame 50 and go back to its position on frame 100, OK? So we're going to scroll to frame 50, like so. We're going to take the arm, and we're going to move that forward to that position. And you can see that this value has changed. So right-click Set Key. We're then going to scrub further to frame 100. And let's push that back to zero. And then right click set key. So now if we go back to our starting position, you can see that the head is moving and the arm is moving. Okay. All right, let's go back. Now, while all of that is happening, we want the entire robot to move forward slightly. OK, so we're going to select our main control. We're going to make sure that we're in frame one. We're going to hit S to keyframe that. And we want the entire robot to move forward 
uh, until let's say frame 50. Okay, so we're gonna go to frame 50. We're gonna hit W on our keyboard and we're gonna move just slightly, move our robot forward, okay? Now you can see, if you look at the value that has changed, it's the translate value on Z up here, okay? So we're gonna click on that, right click and set key. Now if you go back to frame one and we hit play, you can see the head's moving, the arm's moving, and the body itself is moving, okay? Let's go back to frame one. We want the other arm to move as well. Now what we'll do there is we'll select that control, make sure we're on frame one. We're gonna hit S and we're gonna keyframe that. And by frame 50, so we're gonna scroll out to frame 50, we want that arm to go backwards. Okay, so we're going to hit E and let's move that to, let's say about there. Okay, we're going to right click and set key. We're going to go back to frame one. So now both arms should move. Okay, now you see that this arm is going back to its original position. The second one is not. So we're going to stop, we're going to go back. We're gonna scrub and at frame 50, that arm is right there. So we want it to go back to its uh, original position by frame 100, okay? So let's take that control. We're gonna move to frame 100. We're gonna hit E to rotate, we already did that. And let's bring that guy back to zero and then right click and set key. So now both arms should move as we hit play. And you can see that they're moving and they're coming back to their original position, okay? All right, now for the legs. The legs, that's a bit tricky uh, for the reason that we don't have any knee joints. So that's gonna look somewhat awkward, but that's just the model we have right now. So we'll have to work with that, okay? Now, as the arm moves forward, you kinda want the legs to move in the opposite direction, okay? So when the right arm moves forward, the uh, right leg should move backward, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this guy right here and on frame one. We're gonna hit S to set a key and then we're gonna scrub to frame 50. And on frame 50, we want this leg to rotate backwards just slightly, okay? So that's this value right here. Right click, set key, okay? And then we're gonna scrub back to frame one. And let's see the other arm, okay. The other arm is going backward, so that leg should go forward. So we're gonna take the control for this guy and we're gonna go to frame one. We're gonna set a key. We're gonna scrub to frame 50. And we're gonna move that leg forward somewhat. Not too much, okay? Right click, set key. So now if you go to frame one and we hit play, you kind of see the first steps in a walking animation, okay? Now what we can do is we'll go back, we'll just scrub through the frames and the legs are in position 50 at that point. Now, the main animation here, that was only key to frame 50, okay? So what we'll do there is on the main animation, we'll make sure we've got this selected. We're gonna scrub to frame 100. And we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move that some more. Okay. And then we'll hit S and we'll keyframe that. Okay. So you can see that we now have an opportunity to move the legs somewhere. So we're gonna go to our initial frame. 
and at frame 50 the legs are in that position so I'll take this leg and by frame 100 I want it to move forward okay so I'm going to scrub it to frame 100 with that one selected we're going to hit E we're going to rotate it in the other direction until we're roughly until we're roughly in the position where the initial leg was and we're going to right click and set key and then we're going to scrub back and we're going to select the other leg and we're going to go through our scene that one is moving forward by 50 so we're going to scrub to 100 and by 100 we want that leg to move backwards like so and we're going to right click and set key okay let's move to frame one so by now we should have okay the head moving the arms moving and the legs moving okay now i understand that this is extremely basic stuff but hopefully for those of you who have never done this before you get kind of an idea how keyframing works and how you can get some animation going okay so hopefully it was helpful if you have any questions please let me know and thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye